We made mobile games for two years. Hyper casual games with ads and in-app purchase. I wouldn't say it's a bad idea because we gathered the energy we need for bigger projects. But at the end of the day I saw that you have to make the player to watch your ads rather than having a great experience while playing your game. So we wanted to make real games. This is something serious. The game is no joke, no one even can smile. Now we are making a game, everybody get serious. Serious? We'll get this serious. All systems online, coordinates entered. Launch! Come on, let's be serious. <gasps> okay. Okay, what we have in the game system right now is, we can move around with our character, move objects, carry and throw them, use them to trigger something. If you missed how we made this, watch the previous videos. No worries, I'll have the playlist in the end of the video. Now we are gonna make collectible object feature. This feature should have two sides. One side is physical objects in the 3D scene and the other side is 2D icons in the inventory. And they must be linked together. Why? Because we need to create the 2D inventory item when we collect the object. Or to create the 3D object when we drop the inventory item. Let's start with making the 3D collectible object which is gonna be a cube here. And we are gonna make a component to define its properties. So now we need to add a sensor to the character to detect if we have collectible objects nearby, okay? Let's test it by adding dozens of collectible objects to the scene. And now I'll try to collect them. Yes, it is working. When we collect them, they are being removed from the scene. That's cool. Now we are gonna make an inventory weave to keep them. So let's make some icons for inventory items. Of course using AI. Dear AI, please give me some inventory icons. Thanks, now we have our icons for free. Let's make the inventory item component by hitting keyboard buttons. No, I won't use AI for recording, I'm afraid. <laughs> If you hit in the correct order, no need of AI. Now we can connect the inventory item components to the collectible objects. Now it's the test time. Okay, great. We can collect objects from the scene and drop them from the inventory. Of course there are a lot of things running in the background. I'm describing it here very quickly. But if you are curious about the details, join me on live streams. So sub to the channel and hit the bell to get notification. Very simple. Guys, check out my game Spacecraft on Steam and add it to your wishlist to support me. Even if you are not interested in space games, keep it in your wishlist because if we reach certain number of wishlists, Steam will promote us and project will be succeeded. Which is quite possible with you. Link is in the description guys. Now we are gonna add a few more features for the inventory UI. First one will let us stake the items if they are stackable. So let's make the component for that. And the second one will be the split feature. So we can better organize our inventory and stack items to have more space. What if we add some external inventories like a chest? So we can keep some items in our safe or we can loot other chests we find around. One more thing. I want to make usable objects, which can be a health potion to drink. Maybe a knife as a weapon or a cap as a wearable. I don't have any caps. It is all about making another component which is derived from inventory item. So let's make a cap and duplicate it with different colors. Make them collectible objects and link them with the corresponding inventory items. Finally, we can collect the colorful caps and keep them in our inventory. We can use which one we like. I prefer red one. Or maybe blue. No, green is better. No, 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 red is the best. I'm sure the blue is the coolest one, but blue light has more energy, so I prefer green. Come on, guys, we have to use the green. That's obvious. No, you don't know anything. The red is coolest one because it is at the lowest energy side of the spectrum. Is red the coolest color? No, it is a warm color. <sighs> Shut up. Ladies and gents, if you like this video and subscribe to my channel and wish this my game, I wish you be rich in one year. If you don't, I still wish you be rich in one year. Peace.